Come on, come on, come on. I'm going to throw another one. Just for good measure. Count the shots. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. That was 16 shots on a behemoth. So on the previous charger, behemoth charger, that was 16 shots, but it got stun locked pretty much. We're going to check out the stun lock on the second charger here. See how it uh, feels. Because at the end of the day, if it effectively stuns it, bro, that's incredible. One of the biggest problems are high, on uh, high difficulties, on like, you know, difficulty uh, 10, is that you get overwhelmed with the amount, right? So if you're able to stun them like that with the Arc Thrower, that changes the whole flow of combat 100%. And that is huge. So we're going to test that stun thing here right now. I'm just going to go for it, actually. He's not even moving. He's not moving. That is wild. At this point, I don't even care how many shots it is. I'm pretty sure it's going to be around the same. We're not hitting his head, though. That is one thing to keep in mind. But he can't move. Oh! Oh! I, I slept his leg off. That was an accident, but... Damn! You see that, right? So, technically, we could have killed him way earlier. Way, way earlier. And he got absolutely stun-locked into oblivion. By the way, the reason that one felt longer is because it was hitting the leg from the side, but because of the lighting, I couldn't see that, right? If it went to the head, I'm pretty sure it was going to be the same, approximately, you know, 15 shots, something like that, okay? Now it's time for El Uno Titano. Titano! For two shots on the bile. I think we're seven shots in. We're gonna move. I have a lot of shit behind me. I'm gonna drop a stun here. It's 11, I believe. Gonna move a little bit to create some distance here. There we go, he's shooting. I don't even know how many shots we're at right now, to be honest with you. Probably around 20, 22, something like that. So this is definitely not going to be the Bile Titan killer. So this is mainly going to be your charger weapon and add clear weapon, right? Yeah, because the clear... There we go. Okay. So it definitely took less than what it used to. Look at the range. That's nice. Okay. Oh, we destroyed that guy. Okay. I'm going to have to get close to him, but I have to stun this guy first, actually. Oh my god. I'm trying to get close because the 
his ugly ass arms won't hit you if, if you're very close he can't hit you with them they fail a lot of the times okay i think we're good now So once again, the Arc Thrower is not going to be your single target damage king. It's going to be for chargers, stun locking them, clearing tons of ads. Because as you guys can see, my finger is about to break. There we go. Long live my finger, bro. Holy. Like it's, it has like muscles upon muscles now. It 100% it stun locks chargers, so you can just keep doing that and just slow down the pushes. You can combine this with some awesome stratagems. So if you want to play that support kind of battlefield control build, this is going to be for you. Is it good at single target damage in terms of even chargers? It took us like 15 shots around something like that for the behemoths. I'm assuming that on the normal chargers, it's going to be like anywhere from 8 to 12 but overall is it great for single target damage no we have better options flamethrower and railgun currently are very very good but it's very good for stun locking them and clearing it has amazing clear potential make sure to let me know what you guys think about the arc thrower after the changes if you have any build ideas drop them in the comment section as well as always stay positive stay disciplined and i'll see you all on the next one I mean, we literally have the best community of all time. Oh! Oh, we got no scope!